Okay, I got an SOS uh, box set here for you by Mike Don878, which is me, obviously. And I've liked Arbok a lot since Generation 1. And in 4th Gen, he had somewhat of a, a good moveset of glare and everything, but I didn't really want to go for anything generic. So I've added for something different in 5th Gen. He's got an, there's a new item that's really useful for him, so I'm just going to let's just transition over here. And there we go. And his nature's impish because he's physically defensive, so I want to max, max defense, and he doesn't use his special attack at all. It's the only stat he doesn't use, so might as well get that. His ability Shed Skin has the chance to recover from any major status ailment 30% of the time at the end of each turn. And it's good for getting rid of, you know, sleep, burn, paralyze, etc. And his uh, item is Binding Band, which increases the damage of moves like bind, constrict, etc. from 1 16th to 1 8th, which is the same as Stealth Rock. And if you don't know the use of that, I'll tell you later when the move sets come up. And his base stats, are, they're not too great. He's pretty low overall. His HP, attack, and defense are the only things you're going to use. And Even if max defense and HP, he still's not very good of a physical wall. So Let's just let this transition over here. His EVSs are max HP, max defense, and four speed. And reasons obvious: he's a physical wall. He doesn't need the attack investment because he has coil. And we'll just get into the moves now, so I can explain them in, in depth. His moves are coil, which is increase increases attack, defense, and accuracy. And the accuracy boost is very important because the accuracy boost increases the accuracy of gunk shot. And gunk shot is very low accuracy but extremely high attack power and a 30% chance to give level 1 poison. So it's not a move to be underestimated unless you're a steel type, then you can do whatever the fuck you want to it. Wrap is here because it traps the opponent in 5th gen for 4 to 5 turns and does 1 16th HP damage at the end of each turn. But with Binding Band, which is an item that was mentioned in his mo his um, other set at the beginning, it increases Wrap from 1 16th damage at the end of each turn to 1 8th damage at the end of each turn. So it's very efficient. And Rest is just there for the obligatory um, healing move. With Shed Skin, it's not too bad because you have a 30% chance of recovering from it. And I have Shed Skin on another Pokemon in Rest, and I find it works very, very well. And we'll just get into his walled by and good on. He's walled by ground, ghost, steel, and other poison types, and the obvious reason he has gunk shot, which is his only real attack. And those four types resist, each one of them resist it. So, people like Dust Noir, Dust Clops, Reggie Steel, Excadrill can wall his set all day. So, if you see them on the opponent's team, save this guy for later because Arbok will not be able to do shit all to them. And we'll just see, get on to who he's good against. He's good against walls of low attacking stats. People such as Chansey, um, Registeel, people who don't normally carry actual attacks, rather Seismic Toss, things like that. Since it'll take four S Tosses to kill Arbok, that's plenty of time to set up and rest and trap them as well. He's good against fighting types who lack Earthquake since he resists fighting type moves and fake out bullet punch, things like that. I don't going to do a whole shitload to Arbok since he's physically defensive. And grass types without leech sheet can't do much to Arbok, but with the, if they have leech sheet, he can't do anything to them because he relies on wrap damage to hurt them while he's coiling up. But leech sheet will cancel out any coil da or wrap damage they're getting, so there's obviously no point at all in using it. So those are the types he's good against and wild by and this is just my little set, I came up with it just for fun and it's not a great set but it does its job and this is Mike Don eight seven eight and that's gonna be it.